What's up everyone, it's Spencer with Handlebar Labs. I wanted to quickly make a video that just walked through the application we're building in my course Learn React Native and Meteor, which is available at reactnativemeteor.com. As you can see, it's a very simple application on the UI front. I definitely put the effort into the behind the scenes components of actually working with a data set of over 17,000 documents and actually communicating between the React Native Meteor, uh, the React Native app and the Meteor app in different ways we can actually send data, write data, tapping into accounts, all of that. Uh, so just a quick walkthrough, you can see here, when we press this button, it'll bring us to uh, this screen, which lists out vehicle charging locations nearby the current user's uh, device. So if, when we tap this button, we're tapping into geolocation, it'll list out all these locations. And then if we press this little bot button in the bottom right, it'll actually display all of that information in a map. And if I go back to the list, you can see that when we navigate to the next tab, we see you know, some more information about the charging location. We see some of the current activity. You can see uh, user A was checking in and checking out. And if I actually try to check in now, it's not going to let me because we're not currently logged in. So if I go ahead and actually sign into this location, I'll just sign in with a at a.com, and then that user has password, password. So if I sign in, okay, it brings us to a very basic profile. Again, uh, not a huge UI side, definitely connecting the React Native and the Meteor side of things. But then if I try to check in here, you can see that we've got real-time components going on where we're checking, where we're updating the activity in real time and all of that. And of course, being React Native, the application also runs on Android. So we've got the same application going on over here. Um, we can go ahead and create an account. I'll say b at b.com. Get that right. Say password. And we'll say password again. Go ahead, create an account. You can see it's signed in, same interaction and all of that. Now this time, if I go ahead and actually, let's check out of this location and we'll go to uh, this CBRE. And when I press this, this is something we cover in the course, but sometimes on Android, you actually need to send the location to the, the emulator. So went ahead and did that. And then if I go into that same location, we can actually see this updating in real time. So I'll check in over here, and you can see that it's showing user A checked in at 11.15 a.m. And then it's showing that since we're logged in, we're no longer able to check into this location because someone else already has. Check out, I'll update in real time. So throughout this course, we'll go step by step from you know, React Native init, new project, into actually building this application, covering everything that goes on behind the scenes. You know, We've got geospatial indexes and queries on the Mongo side. We're passing data over Meteor publications, reading and writing over Meteor methods. We cover a whole bunch of stuff, and there's also an excellent community that you're more than welcome to join if you sign up for the course. So if this seems like something interesting, if you want to hook up React Native and Meteor, definitely check out the course, reactnativemeteor.com.